So I'm working on a project that requires an 8-bit counter, and I decided to use the 74LS93 4-bit counter slash decade counter chips. And I found a nice video on how to wire one up individually, but as it turns out, it's not as easy as just dumping one value into the other and calling an 8-bit counter. It's a little bit more complicated, but I had to figure it out myself because there really aren't any videos or many tutorials that I found on how to do that. So that's why I make this video. So using one of these 74LS93s as a plain old regular old 4-bit counter is pretty easy. Put 5 volts down there, ground up here, clock signal here, which in my case is a 555 timer, but any signal you want that can be used to tell it to advance to the next number. Uh, you have to tie the output of the first flip-flop to clock number two because they're not internally connected like the second, third, and fourth one are. That's probably some sort of feature, but I don't know why. These right here are the reset lines. There's an internal AND gate. Again, that's another feature that I won't be explaining in this video, but if you want more details, you can go watch that other one. For these purposes, just tie them both to ground. And then your outputs are represented by A, B, C, and D. These are LEDs, and this is the least significant bit. This is the most significant bit. Now, in order to get the upper four bits of your 8-bit counter, you're going to want to deploy a second 74LS93. You're going to want to hook the LEDs and all these other lines up exactly the same as they're hooked up over here, except for the clock line. Now, we don't want this thing pulsing at the same rate that our 555 timer is. Basically, since this is the upper four bits, we want this counter to advance by one every time this counter has reached its highest number, every time this is counted all the way up from zero to 15. So we're going to need a single pulse coming in here. Well, when this hits its highest number, the value is gonna be one, 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 or high signal, high signal, high signal, high signal. And from that, we need a high signal that comes on when this and this and this and this are high. And so up here, we just gotta tie all of the four individual lines into AND gates, filter them into these three right here, so that when all four of these are high, this signal is high, and that will create a pulse here. Then when this resets back to zero, the pulse will complete, and it will advance this by one number. This AND gate can be achieved by a 74LS08. And so if you hook everything up just as I did on the diagram, you'll get a working 8-bit counter. And here's my 555 timer. I can adjust the speed with this potentiometer. Here we have the lower 4 bits. This is the upper 4 bits. And this is the 74LS08 set of AND gates. Now before I go, there is one weird quirk that I will mention here. If I turn the speed all the way down, and turn it off. You notice it kind of starts in its own value. It somewhat starts in the same value every time, but they don't both start at zero. So if you're going to be designing a circuit, you might want to add some circuitry to automatically reset if your circuitry is very dependent on the counter starting at exactly zero on power. Anyway, hope you found that interesting and helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.